Hello there again, long time no see. There's just a lot of things happening right now, but we continue learning. So in this video, we will be having angles formed by chords, secants, and tangents. Yes, these words, you met them on trigonometry, but they also use these words in geometry. Let's see. We know that this is a circle, and we know that chord is a segment that has endpoints on the circle. So this is what a secant is. It is a line that touches the circle at exactly two points. And a tangent is a line that touches the circle at exactly one point. So yung uh, point kung saan tinash ni tangent yung circle, we call that the point of tangency. Yung mga lines or segments na to, if they intersect inside a circle or outside a circle, may mabubuong angles. At yung angles na mabubuo, may relationship sa kanyang intercepted arcs. So let's see kung ano nga ba yung, ano yung, yung relationship nila. Uh, sana all. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's start with this. Theorem, it is the intersecting secants exterior theorem. So it says that the measure of an angle formed by two secants that intersect in the exterior of a circle is one half the difference of its intercepted arcs. So this theorem also applies to secant tangent and tangent tangent. Ang sinasabi lang naman ng theorem na to is that kapag may dalawang lines, secant lines, na nagmeet sa labas ng circle, that's why exterior, dito siya, May mabubong angle doon. And you see, yung angle na yun, it is intercepting two arcs. So ito po yung dalawang arcs na yun. Like one bigger arc and one smaller arc. So para makuha natin yung degree measure ng angle, we have to subtract the degree measure of uh, the bigger arc and the smaller arc and then divide it by two. So let's have this example. So unknown yung measure ng angle, pero given yung measure ng dalawang intercepted arcs. So to get the measure of the angle, that is one half the difference of the arcs, the intercepted arcs. So that is the bigger arc, which measures 160 degrees, ito. Bigger arc minus the smaller arc, and the smaller arc measures 60 degrees. Okay, so 160 degrees minus 60 is obviously 100 degrees, and one half of 100 degrees is 50 degrees. So it's just so easy. The measure of angle C is 50 degrees. So that is how we apply this theorem. You see, hindi lang sa secant yan na apply, kundi pati din... Dito. Okay, so if we have one tangent and one secant that intersected outside the circle, may mabubuding angle, and that angle will intercept two arcs, so one bigger arc and one smaller arc. So same thing lang gagawin, kagaya nung ginawa natin sa previous slide. So apply din siya sa kapag may dalawang tangents ang nag-intersect, that is the angle. This is the two intercepted arcs, so one bigger arc and one smaller arc. So pare-parehas ang solution if ever we are given something like this. So let's say we have this one, okay? Nung unang example natin, plain numbers lang, ngayon may mga xx na. So let's see, solve for the measures of angle C and arc BD. So this is angle C, and arc BD is the bigger arc. So, yun, may binigay ng mga algebraic expressions. So, yeah. First time na gagawin is to make our working equation. Paano ba yung working equation? I-pattern lang natin yung given sa theorem. Ang sabi kasi sa theorem, that is, the measure of the angle is equal to one-half the difference of the two arcs. So, in this case, yung bigger arc natin is BD. Yung smaller arc natin is BE. Okay? So, pinapattern ko lang siya actually sa theorem. And you see, angle C is given as x plus 3 is equal to 1 half. Arc BD is given as 4x plus 8 minus arc BE is given as 50 degrees. Okay? So, this is arc 
BD, this is arc B. We take the difference. We simplify the equation. 8 minus 50 is like negative 42 degrees. Okay, we do algebra and multiply this denominator to this one. We do cross multiplication. So that will become 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is positive 6. So what's left here is a 4x minus 42 degrees. So then we isolate the terms, all the x's on one side, all the constants on the other side. And then we combine like terms and solve for x. So x is equal to 24 degrees. We are not yet done because what we are asked to solve is the measure of angle C and the measure of arc BD. So angle C is uh, x plus 3. And na solve na natin yung value ni x, which is 24. We just substitute the value of x. And so the measure of angle C is 27 degrees. Gets? And now we also solve for arc BD. Arc BD is uh, equal to 4x plus 8. And you see x is 24. And so if we uh, multiply and add that, the answer is 104 degrees. So ganun lang. You see, if what was given are algebraic expressions, there's a lot of variables. We just pattern it to the theorem and solve for x, and then we just substitute the value of x to whatever is asked, okay? So let's have the next theorem, the tangent point secant theorem. This theorem is saying that the measure of an angle formed by a tangent and a secant drawn at the point of tangency is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So we have here a tangent, Dito on tangent, this is the point of tangency. Sa point of tangency, nandun din yung secant natin. So, may dalawang angle ang nabuo, isa dito at isa sa kabila. Sinasabi sa theorem na to na kapag hindi natin alam yung measure ng angle, pero binigay yung measure ng kanya intercepted arc, we just have to divide the degree measure of the intercepted arc by 2. So, let's have this example. Okay, sabe um, to get the measure of the angle, so yung angle na involved dito is DBC. We are actually looking for the measure of arc BD. Sabe ang measure ng angle is equal to one half the degree measure of its intercepted arc. So ang kanya intercepted arc dito is arc BD. Okay? Pero of course, we are solving for arc BD. So we just substitute what's given. So binigay yung measure ng angle, which is 78 degrees. One half. We are looking for the measure of arc BD. Okay? So how to do that? We cross multiply. 78 times 2 is 156 degrees. Natira sa kabila si arc BD. So, ganun lang po kadali, no? Cross multiply, cross multiply. Or just divide by 2. Depende sa given. So, arc BD is equal to 156 degrees. Let's move to the last theorem. The intersecting sequence interior theorem. Well, the measure of an angle formed by two secants intersecting in the interior of the circle is equal to one half the sum of the measures of its intercepted arcs. Kapag may dalawang lines ang nagmit sa loob ng circle, may mabuong apat na angles. Okay? Pero how do we get the measure of one of the angles? Okay. If we have your angle one. Okay, para makuha natin yung degree measure ni angle 1, we add the degree measure of its intercepted arc, ito, at saka yung opposite side. So ito po ang pag-a-add natin. So kapag ka naman si angle 2 ang hinahanap natin ng degree measure niya, ito ang pag a natin, divided by 2. So let's have this example. Solve for x. So si x... Ito lang naman, 
yung measure ng angle. So, napaka-easy nito. It's just a one-step problem. We, uh, the measure of the angle, that is angle DFB, that is equal to one half the sum of its two intercepted arcs. So, yung binabatog niya mismo, which is arc BD, plus yan na, kapag ka sa loob, plus. Pero kapag ka sa labas, minus. BD plus arc CE. Okay? So, arc DFB is equal to one half. Arc BD is given, which is 150 degrees. Arc C is also given, which is 52 degrees. Now we just have to add them. So 150 plus 52 is 202, divided by 2, that is 101 degrees. So the value of X, or let's say the measure of this angle here, is equal to 101 degrees. If you're asked to solve for the rest of the angles, okay, we, we actually have here vertical angles. So, kung 101 ito, 101 din yung sa kabila. If that is 101, you see this is a straight angle and a straight angle measures 180 degrees. So, para makuha yung angle na to, that is like 180 minus 101. Diba? And what is 180 minus 101? Gosh, that's 79 degrees. This is 79 degrees. So, yun lang naman. Strategy lang sa geometry, no? Kapag ka, kapag ka isa ang binigay, we can solve for the rest, no? Ayan. We just apply what we learned in the previous grade levels. Ayan. Okay, so yun guys, ang mga theorems regarding the relationship of angles formed by lines and their corresponding intercepted arcs. In the next lesson, we are going to talk about power theorem. So, hindi na angles ang pag-uusapan natin, kundi lengths ng segments na nabuo because of the intersection of secants and tangents or chords. Okay? So, see you in the next video.